Hi, my name is Lauren Lambert. I am the attorney here at Aero Legal Solutions. I am going to discuss with you the work history report that the Social Security Administration asks you to fill out as part of your application. Generally, you need to understand that that report is very important. You need to be honest and thorough. However, you don't need to excruciate over it or write a novel. You just need to give them the information that they are requesting. When you fill it out, you shouldn't submit it to the Social Security Administration until your attorney or myself has had the opportunity to review it. That way we can make sure that you understood it and that you gave all the information that is necessary in order to make a determination in your case. The main thing that you need to know about this report is it asks you to give them the information on all the jobs you have had 15 years prior to becoming disabled. Now, do what you can to recreate that history by going on the internet, looking up employers, or asking by setting up your account with Social Security for a copy of the wages that they show you've earned and when you've earned those and from what entities. That will help you recreate this. So again, that's 15 year, years before you became disabled. So if you've been disabled for a couple of years, four years, five years, go to the time you were working and then go back 15 years and provide all of that information. Now, You'll be asked to describe what you did all day in that job. Now, your duties may have varied, and you can certainly indicate that, but you need to give a good description of the types of things that you did at your particular job. They will ask you if you used tools, equipment, had technical knowledge, knowledge, did any writing, completed reports. Make sure you give that information. And then it will ask you what the total amount of time that you engaged in certain types of activities like walking, standing, or sitting. Now sometimes you can be doing something at the same time you are, for instance, walking. You can be manipulating things or moving things with your hands. So while this should add up to eight hours or in reality uh, seven hours, because usually you have a half hour work break and two 15 minute breaks in the afternoon. But typically what you're doing as far as the walking, standing and sitting should add up to eight hours and some of the other activities, but some of the activities overlap. So it's fine if you ha have something that indicates more than eight hours a day. Or you may had a, have had a job where you were on salary and sometimes you were working more than eight hours a day. You're asked to explain what you lifted and carried. That's very important. And you're asked to check the heaviest weight lifted in your job. Now, most jobs, even jobs involving work in an office, sometimes require you to lift heavy objects. In my office, we have boxes of paper that have to be lifted or other things. Make sure you think of what the heaviest thing was that you lifted. If you don't quite know how heavy it was, you can go on the internet and sometimes you can ask how much does a typical box of paper weigh or how much does a ream of paper weigh. And then you can find out if you've had to move around furniture or move file cabinets or other things like that. Again, they're asking for the heaviest thing that you lifted in your work. Another example of this is if you're a truck driver. Well, Driving a truck, depending on what type of a route you have, may require you to usually lift very little weight, but at other times you have to go and move merchandise around or you have to go and pick blocks up uh, that you use to place on the wheels when you're parked or, or other things that you may do that require you to lift heavy things. And then you're asked to list what you lifted frequently. Frequently means that you were doing it often from two-thirds, or excuse me, a third to two-thirds of the day. You're also asked if you supervise people. 
Now, supervision, and they do allow you to explain this, supervision means more than just being on a crew and having more experience than some people so that the boss or the, the supervisor tells you you can tell them what to do. Supervision includes things like hiring and firing, writing out disciplinary notes, and other things of that nature. I had somebody who worked in a daycare and since they took care of toddlers, they put that they supervised up to 30 people. Well, that is not supervising. You're still a child care provider and not a supervisor at that point. But those are the main things to understand about these work history reports. These are not a resume to get work. These are reports that you use to describe the type of work you did. And you need to describe it as fully as you can and you need to get as complete information as you can for the Social Security Administration. And again, before you hand it in, I want to review that to make sure it looks like it's been filled out correctly or make sure that your attorney reviews it to make sure that you've understood it and that you've filled it out completely. Especially for older disabled individuals, some of the information is very critical. So make sure that you fill it out accurately and with advice of your counsel. Thank you.